In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a module to a page within .NET Nuke 7. Now I'm going to go ahead and start here on the home page of my .NET Nuke 7 website, and I'm currently logged in with the host or the super user account. You can go ahead and log in with anyone who has edit permissions and has been assigned the ability to deploy modules or an administrator on your .NET Nuke website. So what we're going to do in order to add a module to a page is we're going to mouse over the modules menu within the control panel. We're going to choose either the add new module or add existing module option. If we go ahead and choose the add new module option, we'll see the page will refresh here in just a moment and load up a list of all of the modules available to us within this .nuke installation. That's a, a scrolling list, so we can go ahead and click on the scroll bar and scroll from the left to the right to see the entire list of modules. Now we're going to go ahead and scroll over to the H's to find the HTML Pro module. The HTML Pro module is the most common module installed and utilized within .NET Nuke websites. If you're using the community edition of .NET Nuke, you'll find the HTML module, not the Pro designation. Now from here, what we can go ahead and do is we can either take that module by clicking on it and dragging it, we can place that onto a page or into a pane down below. And as we move the module around, you'll see that the panes that are available to us will highlight with that blue color with a dotted line around it. If I go ahead and let go of the mouse button, that will then place the HTML module there above the banner that's currently on this home page and you'll see the modules currently available to us. Now, also within that control panel, you can see as soon as we place a new module, we get that module option selection again. Instead of dragging a module, we can go to the top right-hand corner of one of those modules, and we can choose from the available panes on this current page for the ability to place a module into one of those panes. So in this case, if I want to add the module to the left pane, I can click on left pane, and that will refresh the page, placing a new module in the left pane on the page. And if we were to scroll down on the page, we would find an additional text HTML module added to the page. Now finally, within the modules menu and adding an existing module, we can filter that scrollable list by category. You can see that there are currently four category selection options available admin, common, professional, and all categories. So we can filter based on the various categories of modules currently installed within our .NET Nuke installation. You can customize those filters as well. Now also within the add modules menu, if we click on add existing module, what we'll find is we have a couple of different dropdown options available to us now. Add an existing module allows us to choose a page that we want to copy a module from, so let's say we want to choose a module from the About Us page. If we go ahead and do that, we then have a listing of all of the modules on the About Us page, along with their titles. From here, we can go ahead and choose to place the module on the page. We can control if the module is visible to anyone who can view the page. That's the same as page option. We can also control the page editors only option, which means anyone who can edit the page will be able to see the page. And then finally, we can choose to make a copy of the module. If we don't choose to make a copy, what will happen is we'll make a referential version of the module, meaning we can actually edit one module and have that edit apply across multiple modules on the website. So if we were to add a module from the About Us page without choosing the Make a Copy option, when we change it on the About Us page, it would also change here on the home page. And then finally, under that modules menu, there's also a find more modules option. If you're to go ahead and click on that, that would actually take you to the host extensions page in which you can install additional modules. We talk about the installation of modules and finding modules within the .NET Nuke store and the forge in additional videos in the .NET Nuke video library.